This is Twit. Well, this is another down of being on Android is that sometimes things just kind of stop working and you don't really understand why. <laughs> Today in particular had people complaining about their apps suddenly crashing just out of nowhere, unexpectedly, things just going kaput, bye-bye. So at, we're talking apps like Gmail, Yahoo Mail. Yes, people are still using Yahoo Mail. And and other apps that were shutting down basically erratically. The bug was related to a bad update to the WebView system component, which uh, if you know the ins and outs of Android and the operating system is a pretty big, significant part of it all. Now, many users removed the WebView update and that actually helped temporarily fix their devices. So it's totally traceable to that. Google has since addressed the issue for all users when they update Android system WebView and Google Chrome. Many users, they were resetting their phones, which then made it unusable because of the bug. So a lot of headaches from this little bug that came out today. Um, again, you know, WebView, it's a component that embeds a Chrome browser into apps that call for it. So we're talking about like when you, you know, hit on a shop to link uh, and it takes you there. And so, so imagine you were doing that in Instagram and it was calling on maybe the Chrome web view and that's what probably was crashing. That's why so people were experimenting, you know, just random crashes. Several things, several things with this is that number yes. one, it, this drove me nuts to see the coverage of this, of actually the fact that people were uninstalling the web view component and that was being encouraged by blogs because that's completely irresponsible because that web view component is so hooked into so many other apps. It actually made people's phones even more unstable, right? Because this key, this key piece of how the whole thing works wasn't working. Um, but I get that it's frustrating and all stuff. In fact, that last night my sister texted me. So everyone knows I, I have my sister on the pixel track, right? I, th I think she's on a pixel three right now. Um, and she texted me, she's like, Gmail keeps crashing. So does Outlook. Hmm. I can't. I can't use my mail. This is nuts. And and it was like nine forty five last night. I was like, Do you want me to come over and look at it? And she's like, No, no, no. I'll come over tomorrow. But it's it's really annoying. And I was like, All right. And so I'm like, Did you turn it off and turn it back on? And she's like, Yes. And you know, and like all oh, I did, I went through all that stuff, right? And um, and then today I I looked up and I saw this and then saw that all you needed to do once Google did the update was update it and it fixed it and that's the solution and that's the that's the and there was a bug that happens but I just I just I just it really kind of irked me that for a eh, less than twenty four for a twelve hour period some sites were advocating to do something that was actually more harmful than fixing you know what I mean and I get you need to check your email and all stuff like that but in that situation just you know it'll be fine go to a desktop you it's, you'll, you'll you'll get your mail. Like, <laughs> I wonder if that's but, because uh, not a lot of people or, you you know, not a lot of those people who cover those sort of stories are Android users. Possibly. I'm, I don't know, I'm but I feel like I'm subtweeting. I am. I, I feel like I don't know. I saw I mean, one specific, very specific Android site in their headline said uh, to uninstall it. So. OK, <laughs> well, then that changes that that changes uh, things. But that, you yeah. know. I was just considering that as maybe a factor. That's fair. Yeah. Well, and people will go to great lengths well. to do whatever it takes to get their phone back. Chumley in chat is, you know, uh, mentioned you you couldn't even use the phone without the continuous pop-ups. And when when a device is doing that, like at that point, like that's that's why a well, lot that's of the people thing. Was were the actually was wiping the their phone and starting fresh again, you know, because they're like, the my phone is completely broken. It, is it a virus or something, you know? Was the continuous pop-ups happening because they uninstalled the web view? Well, I don't know. That's a good question. Probably. I so, so my, I think, I think probably because like my sister, all that was happening yeah. and I did it, I, I looked at it was you tapped Gmail it opened for a second and then, and then closed. That's all that was happening. Same thing was happening in Outlook. Um, she could still use the rest of the phone and everything. I never, un she, she didn't know what to do. I, I didn't uninstall web view. I just updated it once the update was there. This is like about five o'clock Eastern time. Um, and, uh, yeah, so it's probably oh, yeah. like you did more damage to your phone than you needed to. So maybe, because but if your phone advice. is 100% unusable, there's not a whole lot more damage you could do. I, I'm sure that's I'm, a good point. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, you know, trying to like be the devil's advocate here. I just think that when your phone is crashing 
it's so much that you can't even make a call on it or you know what I mean? When it's interfering right. with the very like core of what you need a phone to be, you get desperate. I know I've been in that situation and I'd be like, like okay, I mean, give me a solution, you know, something that's going to ease the pain. <laughs> it reminds me of like the old, like in the old PC days when you're just like, what is config.sys? I don't need that. Delete. And then yeah, the computer right. doesn't totally. work, right? Like it's like, yeah, so it's. Like, oh, it works. <laughs> it suddenly works. Yeah. What else did you just do? Uh, who the heck yeah. knows? You'll find out yeah. later. And you won't even have any idea what it is then.